Hey guys, this is Mark Yu here again and welcome back to my channel. So I've been playing with the Xiaomi Mi 10T Pro since Friday night and I can say that this phone is great. I love it. So it has a great 144Hz refresh rate and scrolling is very smooth. It's like a breeze. Excellent battery life, especially during gaming. Of course, it has a 5000mAh battery and you can game and game for hours. So I will be using this phone as my main daily driver soon, perhaps tomorrow. But before that, let me answer some of the questions that you guys asked me in YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. So this also applicable to other Xiaomi phones which run on MIUI 12. So I've compiled some of the answers in this video. So let's get started. And the first one, Okay, I think that annoys uh, Xiaomi phone users a lot is actually advertisement ads. So ads actually appears occasionally uh, in Xiaomi phones nowadays. It's not very frequent, but it annoys most of you guys. Okay, uh, especially when it tends to appear after ad installation. So something that I actually discover during my uh, usage of this phone is actually okay for example let me show you all right you do apps on installation and voila you see apps here so sometimes it annoys uh, some of the users so what i can advise you to do okay there's a workaround here you go to this part here Okay, can you see the receive recommendation? Just off it. All right. Okay, let me try this again. Okay, try to install another app. Connection is pretty slow here. And voila, you don't see apps. Okay, it's okay. Let me try again. This time, try to install another app. Just to be sure. Okay, wait for it, wait for it, so yeah, voila, so this is how you disable ad during uh, app installation, okay? So the second one is actually uh, voice over LTE, so as you can see here, this phone actually supports uh, 4G+, plus. so I have my DG SIM card in this phone, okay? But voice over LTE is not uh, enabled yet. So what you guys can do is go to dialer. Okay. Right. So press star hash star hash 865-83 hash star hash star. All right. Wait for it.
yep can you see voice over LTE okay probably a bit slow but it came out eventually so the next one is actually to enable uh, double tap to wake or off okay so you go to setting you go to lock screen all right so can you see here double tap to wake or turn off screen so you just enable it all right and so once off you double tap to wake double tap to off okay but unfortunately it cannot do uh, double tick, uh, double tap to off at the home screen. Some of the uh, Mio iPhones, Xiaomi phones can do so, but not on this phone. So it's uh, actually a bummer. Then the next one would be the lock screen uh, screen format. All right. So as you can see here, I have a new lock screen. Okay, uh, clock format which is actually uh, proprietary only to me UI 12 for a time being. So this is actually new. And how do you enable it? It's going to lock screens. Okay, then just scroll to this part and select it. So you have this very awesome uh, lock screen clock format. So the next one is actually this color scheme. So go to display and go to color scheme okay so you have a uh, quite number of color scheme that you can choose okay of course for me I just put it at recommended but you can go if you prefer it to have a more saturated color just press this one okay it'll be more saturated or you prefer it to have a original color or if you guys uh, I mean more interested to go further just press advanced setting and you can actually choose from here enhance original p3 or srgb but for me i would still stick to the o2 recommended ones okay and the next one is actually the refresh rate so under display you actually have a few options to choose from 60 hertz 90 hertz and uh, 144 hertz of course i'll put it at 144 hertz because uh, this phone actually under this uh, refresh rate it also performs very nice on the battery life and that's why I I mean that's the purpose of buying this phone right but if you guys want to have maximum uh, battery life you guys can choose the 60 Hertz but of course scrolling and app opening won't be uh, won't be as smooth as the compared to 144 Hertz all right so the next one would be enabling dark mode all right just go to display and okay dark mode is already uh it's already on okay but you can choose to have dark mode uh of course to have to go easy on the eye okay and also uh, one thing good about Mio eye drop is that once dark mode is enabled okay you can actually force dark mode on other apps for example my lazada app okay it comes in a i mean the white color background but you can actually force it okay to have to become black color background which is actually quite awesome i mean i only see this on Mio i12 uh xiaomi phone for the time being but I hope that other manufacturers also can actually incorporate this in other phones. And the next one is actually the app drawer. Okay, as you can see here, my Mio iDrive actually has app drawer. So how do you enable it? So you go to home screen. Okay, and you can see the home screen. And you can, okay, if let's say you choose regular, you'll be just like the regular MIUI without app drawer okay so if you want app drawer just choose it okay so you have app drawer for you guys 
and the next one is actually full screen display okay as you can see here i have any i don't have any navigation bar i lo love to use the phone uh, uh, completely i mean the utilize the full screen estate so how do you enable it it's going to setting again additional setting and choose full screen display all right okay or else you have a button navigation button all right so once you choose the full screen display you fully utilize the screen and also some of you guys uh, actually asked me how to enable the bar uh, at below of the screen so press here and voila you have a bar there so this is actually quite similar to iPhone's uh, iOS so but I don't like the bar so I just disable it all right and the next one would be quick ball okay this is actually pretty useful you go to additional setting choose quick ball and turn on quick ball all right and what it does is that okay can you see the something here and press it and you can actually use it this one is actually to go to back to homes uh, to home this one is actually the menu uh, I mean the recent app button and this is actually to lock the phone okay this is actually to do print screen all right and this is actually the back button so for example if you go to it's a back one all right and the last but not least okay with MIUI 12 you actually have a new control center so what it does is that I mean, as you can see here this is a old uh, MIUI control center all right it might look boring for, for you guys but with MIUI 12 you can actually have a new control center so just choose control just type control okay and yep press this okay and you have a new control center so uh, it is uh, more modern looking and I prefer this old old one yeah that's all for my uh, tip sharing so do you guys what do you think about uh, the functions in MIUI 12 let me know in the comments and thank you guys for the overwhelming support for my previous video uh, the unboxing of the Mi 10T Pro 5G so I'll uh, leave the link for you guys uh, which haven't seen yet and thank you guys for the sub support and subscribe take care guys and stay safe